Hello and welcome to another Tesla video. This video is all about speed signs. So there are two 30 speed signs in front of us, as you can see. And if we take a look at the driver visualization, you can see that these 30 signs display beautifully on the map. So since Tesla added this capability, it's really good. It spots 30 signs, 40 signs, national speed limit signs. And every time you go past one of those speed signs, this little speed zone updates to whatever it is you've just passed. So my question is, if I plunk this, and this outside of the car can we make the tesla travel any speed limit we want and we're going to be ending this video by plonking this 100 mile an hour sign outside and then we'll see if we can trick tesla autopilot into traveling 100 miles an hour and once again we're sponsored by the ridge wallet more about them in a bit look at that doesn't it look real well guess what it's not real becky printed it off and stuck it to a piece of cardboard tesla is over here not quite sure what becky's up to <laughs> but let's give it a try okay let's put the car into drive and find out does our sign show up so oh it absolutely does so we've literally printed this off and whacked it by the side of the road and now you can see that this zone has updated to say 40. oh it looks good that doesn't it it, it does you've done I a really good that. job well done becky that looks legit <laughs> so yeah it's as simple as that the speed zones are literally based off what the car's cameras can see rather than what the gps tells the tesla is the speed limit so that's very interesting because if we whack the 100 out there will it actually think that we can go 100 miles an hour look what i've got what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick <laughs> Look what I've got. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this quite far from the road, right there. Look, and then we've got our 40 further down, and we're just going to see will both signs show up on the map and will the speed up. So you can see that it's quite far away over there. It's it's in a funny spot. It doesn't look great. But I still think that old Tesla Model 3 will show it up because it, it's just good at spotting them. So here we go. I'm on drive and <gasps> Whoa. there it is. Look, you can see it's further away from the road, which makes sense. But there is our 30 sticker. Look at that. So now let's drive down to our 40 sticker. And you can see currently it's got us updated into a 30 zone. But if we just glide at 10 miles an hour past this 40 sign, is it going to update? There it is. Yeah. And it's updated. And I wasn't even going slow. It spots them really well. We make our own rules around here. <laughs> These roads are ours, Becky. We do what we want. Right, before we do another test, let's give a little shout out to today's sponsor. It wasn't until I started using the Ridge Wallet that I realized just how unnecessarily large and clunky traditional wallets that were designed in the 90s actually are. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards. And if you still carry cash around, you can keep your cash on this little money clip on the back. Ridge Wallets are available in over 30 different styles. I chose carbon fiber just because it matches my car wrap. Ridge Wallets are so durable they actually come with lifetime warranty. So this could be the only wallet you need for the rest of your life. And Ridge is so confident that you'll love this wallet. They actually give you a 45 day test run. And if you don't like it for any reason, you can send it back and get a full refund. If you want one of these, head to ridge.com slash Jack. And if you use code Jack, you'll actually get an extra 10% off. Welcome back. This is a bit weird. So we're just back at our original 40 sign and for some reason, there's two 40 signs, but there's only one 40 sign. So I'm not quite sure why that is, but there are three people with horses walking past. So I thought you might be interested in if that shows up as anything on the map because horses aren't programmed to show up, but maybe they'll show up as people or maybe they just won't show up as anything. So I guess we shall see. Right, they're walking past at the minute and absolutely nothing has shown up. Oh wait, a wheelie bin. There was a wheelie bin for a second. <laughs> well, disappointed. Elon Musk, please add horses to driver visualization. Thank you very much. Next test. I think it is time to update our 40 sign into a national speed limit sign, but we're also going to move it further down the road just in case the car saves sign locations in its memory. Thank you. Look, I'm like Gandalf. Look at this. So right now, the car is still displaying 40 miles an hour from when the sign was parked next to us. We've now got our 60 sign further down the road and the 40 sign has moved. So let's see what happens when we put the car into drive. Is anything gonna update? Our 40 sign is still there, even though it isn't actually still there. But further down the road, it can already Ooh. see our national speed limit sign. It displays them really, really well. It is quite impressive. So what we're gonna do is let's drive past it and see if it updates our speed from 40 to 60. Here we go. So driving past it and that was quite interesting the speed zone has just disappeared completely it recognized the signs but as soon as it got close to it it just disappeared which i've never seen before i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna reverse and let's see if it does the same thing again look at that sign another beautifully cut out sign from becky taylor well done becky thank you everyone <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go so it sees our sign why have on earth has it just gotten rid of <laughs> 
It's just, there's just no speed zone anymore. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into park, put it back into drive. Yeah, the speed zone is still completely gone. Our sign does show up really nicely. So I think what we need to do now is pick up our fake sign and I'm gonna drive past some real signs just so we can hopefully unconfuse our car and also so that you get the opportunity to see what real signs look like. I also wanna give a shout out to yesterday's attempt at this video. It got very dark and our signs kept blowing over. It was quite sad. Here we are, we're on the road and we still don't have any little speed zone thing, <laughs> which is a bit weird, but we are coming up to 2.30 signs and a stop sign, which do always show up beautifully. You can see the stop sign and everything's popped up there and even the junction. And I think it should even display stop. So you can see driver visualization these days looks absolutely amazing. I mean, that is so accurate to what we are looking at in real life. And it looks to have brought our 30 zone back to life as well. So I'm pleased that we haven't just broken the car forever with that one. So we're coming up to a 60. So we're just going to see if the car does update from the 30, just so you can see what it all looks like in real life with real signs and there we go they've updated to 60 now so i think what we need to do now is get on an actual full 60 road where i can turn on autopilot and then we're going to get becky to stand by the side of the road with let's do maybe the 30 sign first see if that updates and then after that we'll try the 100 sign as well the reason we're getting becky to do it rather than just our, our gandalf stuff is just so that if any other cars go past she can just hide the sign because we don't want to cause any kind of safety risks or anything there she goes she's got a 30 sign <laughs> all right i'm going to turn around becky's going to get positioned at the side of the road it's not gonna look weird at all let's see what happens let's put the camera on you might be able to see becky and now i shall spin around try not to run my girlfriend over and now off we go there she goes <laughs> okay so obviously i'm filming with the gopro while i'm driving so you might not necessarily be able to see exactly what's happening on screen but i'll do my best to commentate as we as we drive past okay here we go this is the road so what i need to do first is turn autopilot on so autopilot is now engaged. I can take my hands off the wheel for a little second and then I'm going to slow it down just to give the car a little bit more time to potentially see Becky's sign. So right now the car knows this is a 60 road. Let's see what happens when we drive past Becky's 30. I'm going to slow down even more. No chance is this going to work. Surely not. <laughs> yeah, it did not work at all. It did see Becky as a human. All right, we're going to try again. This time, we're going to get Becky to place the 100 sign next to the road, and then she's going to take a step back just because that will hopefully increase our chances a little bit. And maybe I'll even set the cruise control to go even slower than last time. Okay, autopilot is engaged. I'm going to lower my speed very much. I want to give the car plenty of time to see Becky's dinky little sign. <laughs> she's getting it placed into position, and she's stepping back. I've set the car's speed to just 25 miles an hour. Maybe I'll set it even slower. So what we're wanting to see a change is just there currently it says 60 i'm gonna lower us down to 14 anything on the map at all nothing showed up again <laughs> becky looked so weird okay we're gonna have one last attempt by shoving the 40 sign into the road and seeing if it updates the 60 into a 40 and i'll go extra slow as well because so far neither have worked on the main road all right see you in a bit becky <laughs> right here we go final attempt on the main road so i'm just hoping that we can get our 40 to show up and it'll change this 60 zone into a 40 zone so i'm going to turn autopilot on there we go right we're going to slow down to a very conservative 12 miles an hour i want this to show up and update come on bloody hell i'm never going to get there <laughs> i might even make it 10 miles an hour actually you know what i'll make it eight miles an hour here we go Come on, right, still nothing, still nothing. There it is, 40, it says 40. And it's updated our, our speed. So now, can I go above 40 miles an hour? I can't, auto speed has been restricted to 40 miles an hour. That's what that piece of text said. So if I try and increase our speed, it doesn't let me. And that's all because of a piece of paper we stuck to an old washing line pole. <laughs> so there we go, it updated. I had to be going very slow in order to see it. So maybe if we had a full normal sized 40 sign, I'd be able to go slightly faster and it would update. But Becky's just brought up a great point, which is if there's temporary roadworks in the area, it means the car is prepared for that because if they have to lower the speed of a normal 60 zone to a 30, all they need to do is plonk a sign and the Tesla will pay attention to that. But you did say we couldn't get the 100 sign to show up. So I think to end off the video, we're just going to place it back on our slow, safe road. And we'll just find out, will it visualize 100 miles an hour? All right. Good. Bloody hell, that was intense. <laughs> Here we go, our 100 mile an hour sign has been plonked into place very successfully by Becky. So there are no speeds in the UK above 70 miles an hour, so there isn't really any reason for 100 to be displayed. But I just want to find out, 
Will it be displayed? What do you think's gonna happen? Let's start driving towards it and find out. So any signs showing up? Nothing at the moment. Absolutely nothing showing up. So that's the first time that's happened on this stretch of road. So it might just be because it just doesn't recognize that as a valid speed limit. But I'm not gonna give up. I think we should reverse and try again. Okay, we're gonna get a nice fair distance and we're gonna try again. Come on, I wanna go 100 miles an hour. If the sign tells me I can go 100, I'm, I'm stepping on it. So anything gonna show up at all? Come on. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Ooh, what is it? 10. <laughs> 10. <laughs> 10. Off we go. Look at that. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really, really close to it. It might change if I drive past it or update. No, it has not changed. It still displays 10 miles an hour. Okay. Well, 10 miles an hour at once. 10 miles an hour it's going to get. Here you go. And oh, there we go. We did. We, did. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> dare say I might have gone up to 14 for a brief moment. <laughs> don't, don't tell anyone, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully they enjoy this video. Any more tests we could do like this? I reckon there's some good ideas from you guys in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe. We upload once a week. Thank you to Ridge Wallets once again, and we'll see you all later.